Welcome back to PKF Hotel Experts in Conversation with. And today I've got uh, Aslia Kudlucan, who is the Chief Development Officer of Cycas Hospitality. I find you in Amsterdam. That's right, yes. In and on a Tuesday, Amsterdam. you're normally not, on a Tuesday, you're not normally at home in Amsterdam, you're traveling. No, I, I would have been either in Paris, Frankfurt, or London at least uh, by now. But uh, yes, now I'm sitting in Amsterdam. It's almost been four weeks. I've been sitting exactly at the same spot. And how are you coping with that? Today. How are you coping with that? How, are you, uh, how have you made the arrangements, the, the changes to, uh, to make it bearable? Yeah, I suppose it's one of the things is that as a company, we, we took the decision from a really early time that we're not going to treat this as a holiday or semi-holiday, or we're not going to treat this as like it's Christmas where most people kind of sign off and kind of chill out. And we want to treat this as like, this is one opportunity where we're going to really do everything we can do to carry on working. Of course, you know, in development world, our job is pretty much all about people. You know, you go somewhere, you negotiate, you, you, you talk. Uh, it's very uh, human to human business. You know, we need to have that connection, but we figured out a way where uh, with our, all the partners and within the company and externally, internally, we kind of continue as much as we can. Of course, uh, one of the biggest differences is that uh, out of all of our hotels, uh, majority of them closed. And of course, um, that's kind of created a little bit of a different setup. But uh, mindset wise or workday wise, we are just trying to carry on the way we were before. It's just that all of our meetings are now Zoom or yeah. <laughs> online meetings. And Who would have known that? Somebody would have invested in Zoom then, way back when, <laughs> yeah. if only, if only we'd right. known. Um, you yeah. mentioned that uh, most of your hotels, I mean, first of all, how many do you have now under, how many are open? Yes, so we have in, in total 25 hotels and about 14 of them are open. The rest are under construction. Uh -huh. and, and three of our hotels, uh, one in the UK in Liverpool, one in Scotland in Dundee, and the other one at uh, Frankfurt Airport. Those three are still open. And uh, the reason why is that within their specific locations, uh, we, had, we had the need to keep them open for some of our clientele, existing clientele or people in, the, in that respective cities that needed a long-term uh, stay because they couldn't go to their uh, original, you know, where home is for them. Or more importantly, the, the location of these hotels have provided a perfect uh, solution for the frontline uh, people from healthcare to uh, airline people, you know, so these kind of uh, people who needed a solution. Uh, given that we have um, these properties are long stay properties, so international branded uh, extended stay properties, uh, the rooms are self sufficient. So they have their own uh, kitchenettes and their fridges and everything. So they don't need to still, you know, staying in a hotel room and sitting on a bed and trying to get a right. takeaway, but they have everything they need, uh, maybe in a smaller scale than their home, but they're self-sufficient. And of course, given the restrictions uh, implied by the governments, uh, the services we can provide are very limited, but we have incredible uh, team members, are, are uh, people who work, especially in these hotels, uh, they have taken themselves the decision to say, look, let's keep it open. We're going to move into the hotel uh, so that we don't have to be involved in this traveling and, and transmitting anything. We apply all the necessary health precautions during our time in the, engaging with the guests or cleaning the rooms. So it's, it's, a, it's an incredible selfless movement from our team members that helped us to help these people uh, to have a solution to carry on um, their work. As right. they need to be. Um, going into the, uh, uh, I mean, obviously you're, you're very fortunate that you have got 11 under construction because, uh, you know, had they been open, that would have been a little bit tougher, I suppose. Um, Oof, um, yeah. Now, we always try to look a little bit beyond, and nobody knows when beyond will come. Um, um, but there are some countries that are talking about uh, slowly restarting the economy slowly loosening the uh, um, very strict uh, restrictions that they've imposed on, uh, on, on most of their people. Um, where do you see, and, and you cover five countries, right? At the moment. We cover five countries. Oh. We cover uh, Germany, uh, Netherlands, 
UK and uh, sorry, uh, France and uh, Belgium. Right. And basically, uh, in these countries, we are uh, very much, um, uh, you know, uh, we, what we're seeing is every city is going to have a different review in, on this beyond uh, period. So, for example, uh, you know, Amsterdam, it solely relies on international travel or maestrism. Uh, it has a very small amount of, um, you know, domestic tourism or domestic travel. Uh, is going to be the worst hit uh, country or city versus Frankfurt. Frankfurt or Germany per se, uh, quite a big part of any hotel business is a domestic and, and, and then international. So we foresee that our Frankfurt hotels or German hotels will recover much faster than a, a, a city like Amsterdam, uh, who's not going to have any mice business for at least 18 months, we predict, or two years, because, you know, it all depends on vaccinations and international travel yeah. being open. It's not going to be much tourism, especially international tourism. And so, not so long um, ago, they complained about over-tourism. Yeah, so be careful what you wish for. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> so I, I suppose this is going to be a, a bit of a challenge for Amsterdam. Uh, London and regions uh, are going to be bit difficult and different, you know, uh, different to assess. Uh, at least, for example, for France, we now have a bit more clear view, at least what government wants to do and etc. So we predict the rest of Europe probably, or at least UK and France will have similar timeline, whereas uh, Germany or Belgium will have a bit more earlier opening and coming yeah. back to market. Yeah. So... That's our now, prediction. You, you, mentioned, you, you mentioned already uh, um, some of the concepts that you, uh, that you operate. Uh, um, do you think that the, the time that we're going through now, the crisis, uh, in some instances, maybe even refocus or changing focus, um, uh, will it have an impact on, on um, concepts? Will it have an impact on um, uh, how we run hotels, how we operate hotels, or what product is, is needed and required? Yeah, um, it's a bit interesting. I think it's a little bit too early to kind of make this decision, but I suppose, of course, it's inevitable. We're going to have quite a lot of changes in how we uh, generally operate. And, uh, you know, I suppose we had, for example, some lines of industries or businesses uh, who were always sort of remote working and or were always able to remote work. I think, you know, that's going to stay the way it is. What this period has demonstrated, I think we're going to have certain business lines that were not traditionally uh, focused on remote work, and I think they may evaluate and, and process and move towards, uh, towards uh, more remote working. Um, but then certain business lines, and especially mice and et cetera, I think these things are still going to be required uh, um, travel and, and being one-to-one. -one. So... Um, we're going to have an interesting view on how this is all going to fall, but I, I, I think we're going to have overall impact on the uh, trouble trends and habits. Um, mm. So, you know, in one side, we can look in the, the negative that we're going to have probably less people traveling because they're going to figure out to do their work uh, more remotely. But on the other hand, I think one of the silver lining in Europe, especially in certain countries, we were already start suffering from uh, a, a little bit uh, too much of a pipeline, especially in hotel business. We yeah. sort of uh, demand versus supply was becoming a little bit um, more difficult to you know compensate each other. So what we are already hearing and, and seeing is that I think there's going to be a little bit of a market adjustment on this and where maybe certain aggressive pipelines for certain already oversupply cities may become cool down, uh, cool down a little bit and people will think twice and uh and yeah act accordingly yeah. um but one thing for in terms of concept wise this crisis has proven um given our heritage of being the first uh, uh white label uh extended stay hotel operator which established when we established 12 years ago that was one of our niches um, we always say that the extended stay hotels are much more resilient during crisis and, and during uh, unexpected periods. And this is now proved that uh, our extended stay hotels are actually 
still open one way or the other yeah. and has a greater demand generation than the others. So I'm just looking at my clock here. The time keeps running. Sorry, Ashley. Yes. Um, but no um, worries. Uh, just in closing, um, from a society perspective, and we only got a, a minute. Um, will we be better people? Will we be different people after this? Has it has it changed us? Is it changing us? I think people get closer. I think I feel people get closer, and and I'm a I'm a lifetime optimistic, so I always kind of look at everything in a bit more positive way, uh, and. I feel like society gonna change in a better way and in a bit more uh, taking care of each other, uh, a bit more respectful, and I think a bit more loving and caring. At least that's my hope. Yeah, I, I, share, I share that hope with you and I also hope because uh, um, there needs to be something positive on, 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 on this uh, very, very difficult time for many. Um, I thank you yes. very, very much. I send kind regards to thank Amsterdam. I uh, look forward to meeting you in person uh, very, very Likewise. soon. When we can start Likewise. traveling again and uh, kind regards from Cape Town, South Africa. Take care. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.